But Maxwell's equation said that if you shine a flashlight from that same train, both you and the person on the ground would measure the exact same speed of light. This completely shattered Newton's rules of relative velocity. It just didn't make sense. Physicists were desperate to save their Newtonian worldview. They reasoned that if light is a wave, it must travel through something, just like sound waves travel through air. They imagined an invisible, universal substance that filled all of space, a silent, motionless medium they called the luminiferous ether. If this ether existed, then Earth, as it orbited the Sun, must be rushing through it, creating an ether wind. And if you could measure this wind, you could prove the ether was real and Newtonian physics was safe. In 1887, two American scientists, Albert Michelson and Edward Morley, designed an experiment to do just that. Their device, an interferometer, was pure genius. It split a single beam of light, sending one half in the same direction as Earth's motion, and the other half perpendicular to it. 